That's a pew pew in his hand. If I say it, they're gonna take my video down, so I can't say it. But that's what that is. Sarasota, Florida, where this group of white people profile this black teen. I'm not in front of your house. You're you were actually, you actually, you're actually, you actually, you actually, you're actually following me. I can walk around in my neighborhood. If you live here, yeah. So you live here. <laughs> right. You live here? You're going to keep asking me the same yeah, question yeah, over, and over, and over and over and over and over. This man following me. This is harassment, right? You haven't answered yet. That's harassment, right? This, that's harassment, right? I think what you did to my wife, yes. Look, 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 look. look. <laughs> you followed what you did to my wife, You yes. read it up. Yes, he lives there. He absolutely lives there. And he doesn't have to answer to anybody who decides to profile him. He doesn't have to. The fuck is y'all following me? Why, man, you don't, own, you don't tell me why the fuck I should not and should be? Man, watch yourself. <laughs> even want to like, I can't even be comfortable because look at this shit. Then y'all like, y'all coming up the, rock, the block, the walk, the block away from people. They trying to walk and shit with their kids. These people out here following me and shit. Yeah. This, this ain't weird. This ain't, look at the neighborhood creepers. <laughs> the neighborhood creepers. Damn. Damn. What the fuck? The buddy, look at buddy. He's still creeping. Hey, that's some weary shit, my boy. Damn. <laughs> I should create problems and shit. This shit, wild as fuck. I have to be honest, this video does not surprise me. While it is crazy and horrifying, uh, it does not surprise me that this man here pulled out a weapon. He wanted to end his life for merely walking and existing? I'm not surprised by this video because I've seen so many videos like this. I've heard of so many stories like this. I mean, if this is surprising to you, what planet have you been living on? Have you heard of a boy named Trayvon Martin? Have you heard of Ahmed Aubrey? This is not uncommon. In fact, I've even covered a video about this very thing a couple years ago. It was called Oral and Boogers. It was about Howard Oral Hughes and Donald Corsi in Sanford, Florida, same place Trayvon Martin was murdered where they decided that a black kid who was driving through their neighborhood, because he was visiting a friend, he, he had every right to be there, but they said because he was going too fast that it was okay for them to throw a landscaping stone through his car window while he was driving, almost killing him, and then surrounding him, this kid yelling and cursing at him, and even one person had a gun on them, just like in this video here. Now, I didn't have a chance to identify everybody in this video because I put my full attention 
on identifying Steve here, the one who pulled out the weapon, and I don't even want to imagine what he was planning to do. If it wasn't for his friend having a moment of clarity and jumping in and getting between them, we all know what would have happened. Same thing that happened to Trayvon Martin. Same thing that happened to Ahmed Arbery. Hello, Stephen Carrega. Why did you draw a gun on him? 